Hello my beautiful butterflies and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick unboxing. So if you want to see what that's all about, just keep right on watching. Okay you guys, so today's video is going to be a quick unboxing. But before we get into that, you know the drill. Let's go over a little bit of housekeeping just in case you're interested. So first, starting with my face as per usual, I'm wearing the Becca Skin Love Weightless Foundation. I'm in the shade Cafe. This is the perfect weightless foundation. I absolutely love it. And then next on my eyes today, I'm wearing this Quad by Tom Ford. And it's in shade number 32, Metallic Denim. I unboxed this here. Let me show you what it looks like. And I was so in love with this gorgeous blue which you guys I absolutely love so that is the palette right there I have this blue all over my lid I have this shimmery black shade right here in my outer V and then I have this brown shade right here a little in my crease so Yes, you guys, I'm absolutely loving this new one by Tom Ford. And again, it's called Metallic Denim. And I picked this up from Sephora. And then next on my cheeks today, I'm wearing another Tom Ford. And it's a blush in the shade Wicked, which is a beautiful bright pink. So there's Wicked right there. This is another one I've been using a lot lately love that and another one i've been using a lot is my highlight that i have on today and it's from christian dior of course again and this one is in the shade nude glow and here it is right here this is what nude glow looks like absolutely love and then as for my lip color today, I'm wearing this beautiful pink that I showed you in my last video from Bloomingdale's. And it's called Dior So Light. And it's one of their pink lip glosses. Again, this is called Dior So Light. And you guys, I love this lip gloss. It is making me want to go back and get another one. So nice on. And then as for my nails today, I'm wearing this Odie But Goodie by Marc Jacobs. And this is a beautiful green color, you guys. And it's called Good Friday. I don't know if it's still around, but I've had this for a long time now. But yeah, I love this shade. And again, this is from Marc Jacobs. And if you are curious about my accent nail here, I can show you what that is. And you guys, when I saw this collection, I had to get it. It took me back to my childhood. Quick story. Here I go with the memories. And if any of you out there are familiar with Lisa Frank, hit the like button right now. You guys, I was so obsessed with Lisa Frank items when I was a kid. No lie, I would tell my mom I would get straight A's. I would do so well in school if just I had the Lisa Frank notebooks and pencils and everything was Lisa Frank. And my mom did it. You know, I promised her to get good grades. I did that just so I can have all the stationery that was Lisa Frank. Folders, everything you guys was Lisa Frank. And when I saw that Lisa Frank had some items in Ulta, I just could not not have them. Again, they brought back those memories for me. So nostalgic, you guys. Um, so, so my accent nail right here is this Lisa Frank nail polish that's called Hit the Spot. And it's all of her beautiful, vibrant colors, um, like in little specks. So cute. I hope you can see that. So that is what I have on my ring finger. She also has an Ulta a whole brush set too. So you know, I just had to get it you guys. Although, you know, I wasn't like an artist when it came to painting or drawing. 
I was an artist when it came to like when I got older and my mom let me wear makeup. I would know how to apply my makeup. I would always know how to do my nails and my toes. All of that. That's why I still do it now today. And then all of my stationery. I just had to have matching things. Or very colorful and vibrant things. Because that's what I love. I just felt it was so cheerful and vibrant and happy. So I still love those things today you guys. When I buy my agendas, you know, I'm always decorating them with butterflies and different vibrant colors because it's just me. It's funny when my mom sees me pull things like that out of my purse because she's like, you're still doing that? Yes, mom, I'm still doing that. And my old age, I am. So, <laughs> yes, that was my little story. Sorry about that, but just bought back some memories really quick. And then next, the perfume I'm wearing today, you guys. I just recently unboxed with you and I've been loving it. And I want to tell you why. I couldn't put my finger quite on it when I first unboxed it. But this is the new Tiffany Fragrance in Rose Gold. And I'm going to tell you why I love it so much. Is because the other perfume that I have in my collection that this reminds me of, I love so much too. So in my opinion, you guys, this reminds me of Delina. And you guys know how I love the perfume Damali's Delina. It reminds me of that, you guys, when I wear it. And that's how it smells on me. Very similar. So, at first I couldn't put my hands on it, but now I know what it is, you guys. It's the Delina, and I love this perfume. I love them both. You know that. So, this is the fragrance of the day, and you guys, isn't that just a gorgeous bottle? I love this. So, that is what I'm wearing today as my fragrance. And then as for my earrings today, I'm wearing these butterfly earrings that I received as a gift from Winnie B here on YouTube. So sweet. And I love these because they are butterflies and they have little stones in them. So cute. Hopefully you can see them, you guys. That is what they look like. And then on my neck, I have this butterfly gold necklace that I picked up from Amazon. On my wrist here, I just have my Apple Watch on. And then as for what I'm wearing, I'm wearing a red t-shirt today that I love that says, I'm so DC with the DC license plate on it. Yes, if any of you don't know, I am from the DMV area. I was born in D.C. Shout out to Georgetown University Hospital where I was born. Um, but I live in the suburbs of Maryland. So yeah, you guys. Um, this is my beautiful little red t-shirt. And then I just have it on with a pair of red shorts you know the ones that i get from amazon with the pockets on the side these are just kind of like exercise workout shorts but i wear them to lounge around the house all the time or to run to the store in so yeah i absolutely love them and as for my handbag of the day i'm still rocking here my louis vuitton alma bb in the denim you guys Love this beauty right here. Especially I love the four feet on the bottom of this bag. And I love how this bag can just like go with anything. It goes with a lot of things. And you know I'm a silver hardware girl. So I love that it has that silver hardware on it. So yeah, that is the handbag of the day. Okay, you guys. So next I'm going to get into this unboxing of this handbag that I purchased and then we'll go ahead and talk about it. So here is the item right here in the box. All I did was open the box. So this is a true unboxing. Let 
So I'm going to get this stuff out of the way. So I just have a return slip. I have my receipt. And then I have the handbag right here. Okay, you guys. So here is the bag right here. And um, this just has the style information right here in the color that I chose. So, so let's just get into this because this particular purchase right here was influenced by my girl, The Luxury Hybrid. She did a recent video where she compared this bag to the Louis Vuitton um, Speedy 25. And I had saw this bag before, you guys. But when I saw it originally on YouTube, I saw it in a canvas version. And then all of the videos that I would see with this canvas version, the bag would have all this like lint particles on it. So that turned me away from the bag. I thought the bag was nice, but it turned me away from the bag because of all that lint on the canvas. So I was just like... I know that's going to worry me because that's just me and who I am. And so I didn't want a canvas version of this bag. But then the Luxury Hybrid did this video and she had the leather version of this bag. And I was like, oh, yes. I went right on that website and ordered this bag, you guys. And so the bag that I purchased is the Marc Jacobs Mini Traveler Tote. So here it is right here. It's so nice and soft. I have it in the black version, which is the black leather. Now they have so many colors. I'll tell you too why I chose black, but I was so tempted because they had pink and I wasn't too sure of like color transfer or anything like that. And it was a light pink, but they had this tan that was so beautiful. They had a red, you guys. Yeah. So I end up getting the black one. As you can see, this, you guys, it's so soft. I can tell you right off the bat, I'm going to love this one because the leather on it is extremely soft. And if you can see up close, it has that pebble leather. And this style of tote bag, you know I'm not a big bag girl, but this is perfect. It's like the same size as the Speedy B25. And, um, yeah, I also love, let me just get some of this stuff off here so you can see it. But I also love that this bag, um, has a zipper and so you can close it. It's not an open tote. So look at that right there. So you see that nice gold zipper there. This leather is so nice, guys. So, ooh. Now, that is better than a Louis Vuitton zipper. Did y'all hear that? I'm just taking these little pieces off. But, listen to that zipper. Listen how smooth that is. OMG. I am loving it already. So, inside, I see that I have a Marc Jacobs dust bag for it. So there's the dust bag for my tote. And then what I love is it had a crossbody strap on it, you guys. And then this is just stuffing here. OMG, now I didn't know this. The inside of this bag is leather lined. It's lined in a gray leather. Oh my gosh. So that's lined in a gray leather, but they have a pocket right here that says the Marc Jacobs, but this is canvas here, but leather trim. But the inside, the bottom 
all of the inside of the bag is leather except for that little pocket oh my gosh that is gorgeous and look at the back so the back of the bag says the Mark Jacob style tote bag, location NYC, year 1984. So there is that imprinted in the back. And of course the front says the tote bag Mark Jacobs. There you go again. Let me just get um, this strap off some of this paper you know how it is now it didn't come in a box or anything and I couldn't figure out how to hit gift wrapped when I was ordering online because I really didn't even see that um, so I didn't get a box or anything but it came nicely wrapped everything on it looks good and perfect Their packaging reminds me of Coach. It takes forever just to get the stuff off. Okay, and so now that I got most of that out of the way, as you can see right here, the strap is adjustable. All leather with the beautiful gold hardware. And there it is right there. It has the beautiful gold hardware on it. I love an adjustable strap, you know, because I'm a shorty. So they have these little clips right inside right here that you just clip it on there. So here is what it looks like clipped on right here. Beautiful. So when I thought about this bag, you guys, I thought it would be perfect for work. Um, so I am definitely going to transition into this bag because again, I love it. It will be perfect like wearing to the mall, that type of thing because it is so roomy. Now, one of the things that I totally agree with, with Luxury Hybrid, you're looking at an all leather bag here, tote bag for three hundred and seventy five dollars if you go to Louis Vuitton and get one of their tote bags and especially the leather on prompt one you're gonna be in the two thousands already if you get the canvas ones you're gonna be at least fourteen or fifteen hundred so for three hundred and seventy five dollars you guys this is well worth it and again they have all different types of colors if this is something that you might be interested in. So I did a DIY long time ago with um, some bags from Amazon. It was the clear bags. They look like this. Actually, here's one right here. And I had purchased some Marc Jacob straps back then for that bag, which is that black clear bag, and I also have a gold one just like it. Both straps were these beautiful webbing straps from Marc Jacobs that I did the DIY with on those bags. So when I looked at it, I was like, oh, those straps will be perfect. So here they are, you guys, and look at this. They're gonna go perfect with my bag. So that is the reason why I chose this bag in black because the straps I already had by Marc Jacobs were black. So this one is the beautiful black and gold and as you can see it has Marc Jacobs in like a off white right there. So that beautiful hardware on it. And the webbing straps are adjustable. So that is what that one looks like. And so the next one that went with my gold bag. The next one that went with my black bag was this beautiful one right here. And this one was just the Marc Jacobs one. And it just had this gorgeous pink and burgundy black colorway it has the Marc Jacobs on the hardware if you can see that 
And again, it has this pink, black, and burgundy colorway, which is oh so cute. I love this. So here is both of the Marc Jacobs straps here. I am going to put them on the bag and share with you how they would look on this bag. So I thought it would be so versatile in that way because I can change up the straps from the regular strap that is on there. Okay, so first, beautiful. I love this combination. So first, this one right here that says the Marc Jacobs on it, the gold and black one here. I think it's my favorite so far, although I love the pink too. But um, yeah, that is what it looks like here on the bag. I'm going to show you what it looks like on me as well. So you guys know I always like to wear my bags crossbody. So that's what it looks like. And again, these webbing straps that Marc Jacobs carry, they are so nice and adjustable. So you can always adjust them to your liking. Um, because I have to always do that for me because I am a shorty. The only thing is the straps kind of like hit me right here but that's okay and for me I always sometimes pull my bags when I'm wearing them cross body kind of like to the back like that um so yeah but this doesn't affect me at all so here is what that black and gold strap looks like on there and then so here oh I like this one too here is that beautiful black pink and burgundy one. Oh, I like this one I don't know I might have to take that back I love this pink you know I'm a sucker for pink anyway but yeah that is this strap on it so there we are love this one as well so that's that strap and then so here is the original strap on it and I'm gonna have to adjust this one up some because it's a little where it is adjusted now it's a little long but but you get the picture this is what the original strap looks like but there you are you guys this is a beautiful tote bag and it's an all weather one too it's all leather you can't go wrong for 375 with this i'm loving it you guys tell me what you think of this handbag so thank you dd from the luxury hybrid for featuring this on her channel and influencing me on this purchase. I absolutely love it. I would have never thought to look to see if they had this in leather if it wasn't for your video. So thanks doll. I appreciate you and I love it. So you guys, that's it. That's all I had to share with you today. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.